Hello, welcome to Montgomery Matters. I'm your host, Greg Wims. Today we have a very special guest, council member at large, Hans Reamer, and we're going to talk to him about his duties on the Montgomery County Council. Welcome to the show, Hans. Thank you, Greg. I'm really glad to be here. Well, the first question I wanted to ask you is, what is the responsibility of a mm. council member, and especially a council member at large? Sure. Um, I, I, well, I live in Tacoma Park. I do represent the entire county, so that's uh, such a diverse, huge county. And the council has real responsibilities. You know, a lot of uh, local governments, you know, they may not have as significant responsibilities as we do to fund the schools, mm -hmm. you know, to raise all the taxes, to pay for police and fire, to oversee the water and the sewer system, WSSC, um, you know, to do all the zoning, uh, to provide economic development incentives. Mm -hmm. We have health and human services. Uh, environmental protections. We are, you know, a full service local government. So being on the county council is the, you know, the decision making body for that government. It's also a strong council form of government. So um, it's interesting, the county council in the 60s created the county executive. Mm -hmm. And so the council wisely reserved a lot of powers to themselves, such as the budget authority. Mm -hmm. You know, the executive recommends the budget, but the council gets to have the last say. So anything can be added or taken out of the budget by the county council. So uh, it's a body that has tremendous influence um, and, and a, a, you know, a lot of responsibility that goes with it. And that makes it an exciting place to work because you have a lot of impact for your work. You know, you really can see tangibly the difference that you make. I've seen because I've been to a lot of the sessions and you seem to enjoy it. So I want to, is this something that uh, you've, uh, I guess, worked for uh, to be on the council? And how do you like your job? Uh, I love it. You know, I, I think about it all the time okay. and I have really thrown myself into this with uh, a lot of passion and it's fulfilling work. You know, I, I really, uh, w working on an issue right now related to poverty and trying to help people uh, face the high cost of living in this county, uh, I think we're going to be able to get something done there and then there will be thousands of residents who are able to live a somewhat better life because of work that I'm involved in. And you know, it's like that week after week, different kinds of issues, whether they're major environmental issues or transportation issues or, or budget and our fiscal issues, you know, you really can make a difference and that's what I care about. It's, I've been involved in political work my whole career basically with a mission of social change. That's mm -hmm. what I hope to accomplish is helping people achieve their potential, you know, their capabilities and, and realize opportunities. And the County Council is a place where you can really have an impact on that. Well, you know, when I introduced you, I said you're a council member at large, and I think, is Montgomery County around a million or so? Yeah, uh, we're just people? about a million. Okay, so what committees do, are you on uh, on the council? Well, I serve on two committees. Every council member serves on two committees. Mm -hmm. uh, one is called the Government Operations and Fiscal Policy Committee. So that's where we deal with a lot of the nuts and bolts issues like taxes or technology. Uh, it's also where we review labor contracts from the county workforce. Uh, and then I serve on the Transportation, Energy, Infrastructure, and Environment Committee, which is where we deal with uh, funding for roads and uh, public transportation and environmental issues like conserving our trees or, uh, you know, water sewer issues, um, you know, it covers a, a good range, but they're related to concerns that people really feel in their everyday life. Like, hey, why, why was that tree cut down on my street? And when is the county going to come and grind the stump and plant a new one? Yeah. You know, we're working on that issue right now. Okay. Now on that, just to follow up just briefly, uh, is there like a policy where if a tree is cut down, there's a certain time limit or something for the county to stump it? Or? You know, it depends. Yeah. Well, there's not a policy that says it must be done in this amount of time. It's right. really been driven by the available funds. Right. Uh, this year I pushed to increase the funding as did several other council members. So we added about a million dollars to the county budget for tree maintenance and, and planting and stump grinding. But um, typically, if a tree 